So this is the Colorado XT um, fishing pontoon boat, and it's rated for class one water. Today I'm gonna to show you how to rig this for white water for maybe even class two and maybe even class three water. So the first uh, thing that I've done um, with this rig, and this is, I'm pre-rigging this a week before my trip to Desolation Canyon in Utah. And so that I can pre-rig this, and that way I can make sure that I've got everything on board that I need to take with me on this trip. First thing that you'll notice is I have a spare oar here. And the spare oar is attached uh, with two, three foot NRS straps and then I bow tie the uh, running ends together there so I can detach that in a hurry and then I can detach these straps and they are looped around the uh, frame so that I don't lose the straps and I can get to this um, get to the spare oar really quickly. And one of the nice things about the Colorado XT or the Colorado uh, pontoon boat is that it has all these nice pockets that are made for fishermen. And so I'm more of a photographer than a fisherman. And so I've rigged this basically up for photography and for running uh, these rivers out in Utah. So in this front uh, pocket on the starboard side is that I have my throw bag. And so the throw bag is a safety device and I could use this, throw this out uh, to assist in a rescue. And it also functions as my bow line. And so I've got that attached to the bow there. Also in this pocket is sort of a uh, sand stake. It's not like the, you know, the four foot uh, aluminum ones that you see with bigger rafts, but I found this uh, stake at the local hardware store and for this little boat, uh, a lot of times with the beach, this is just uh, fine to uh, moor the boat to the, to the beach. Next pocket back is, uh, I have this uh, with water bottles. And so I've got my koozie in here, a nice foam koozie, keeps my beer cold. And then I have a, uh, basically a one liter and a 1.5 liter uh, Nalgene water bottle in this pocket. And then I have a little uh, uh, beer cooler here where I keep my beers. And if I lose this, I'll cry, but if I lose the water, I'll die. So I, I, keeping the water secure in there is, is very important. Next back, I'll go back to this pocket here. And this the rear pocket on the starboard side is where I have my fill tube and also my repair kit, which contains things like a uh, spare oar lock, uh, spare clevis pins, uh, vinyl repair tape, and uh, all those things that I might need to actually repair this boat on the water and that a lot of times that's a uh, requirement from uh the you know either the park service or uh blm or whoever's regulating a river there and then um next up is of course our ammo cases and so these are 50 caliber ammo cases and they're mounted on each side of the seat here and that is really convenient in the colorado actually that these, these are fit in here just perfectly and they're uh secured down with uh three foot um straps that are cam straps that are looped around the frame there and then while i'm here i'll show that on the frame here i did a slight modification is to replace the uh, clevis pen on the frame with a grade eight uh automotive quality bolt and uh nylock uh nut on there and so that makes that a little bit more rigid and a little bit better to handle white water 
And I also have uh, the spare clevis pins. Should I lose those bolts or something on, on the river, then I can replace those with uh, clevis pins. So on the uh, starboard side, uh, ammo case is I have my uh, minor first aid kit, some tools, uh, and uh, also my uh, trowel. So if I need to make a pitch stop alongside the river mid-morning or something like that and don't have to get out the groover, is we have that. And that also acts as a kind of a multifunction tool. I'll go across here to my other uh, 50 caliber ammo box. And this is the stuff that I need hourly. This is my, uh, you know, main uh, go-to ammo box. It's got things like a floating lanyard for my uh, phone, eyeglasses cleaner, sunblock, lip, uh, lip balm, uh, rowing gloves, eh, lighters, um, even a little Bluetooth speaker. So this is the stuff that I use kind of during the day on an hourly basis. So that's the kind of the go-to uh, uh, ammo case there. And so also strapped to that is I have um, a, a waterproof uh, case for my phone that's lanyard to the um, ammo box. And I have my captain's bag. My captain's bag is just a little dry bag that has things like my uh, splash jacket. Um, I have my um, uh, wetsuit, a little Farmer John wetsuit. It has a little day pack in there with some survival gear, gear so that, uh, you know, if we stop along the river and we want to take a hike up a side canyon or something like that, I can just, you know, load some water bottles into the day pack and I've got uh, everything that I need to do a, a little hike there. Attached it to the back of uh, the ammo box on the starboard side is my pump, and that's strapped down really well. And that's uh, you know an essential item to have along on the trip. I'm going to move over here to the uh, port side here, and so in the port side back, I've got the uh, I've got the uh, anchor that came along with the uh, Colorado uh, pontoon boat, and I filled that anchor bag with uh, some um, exercise leg weights, uh, and so those, and those are uh, have little packets of sand in them, and so that can act as an anchor if I need it. Uh, I don't use that very often. I actually use this more often to weight down a tripod for my photo gear. Okay, up here on the, the middle pocket is I have uh, another 1.4 uh, liter Nalgene bottle of water. And I also have a, uh, a little golf umbrella that I can rig above my uh, chair there uh, to give me some shade uh, and, uh, when, it's, you know, when it's hot out. And then there's a little uh, kind of a drag bag that I've got here that I can uh, use to put in the water to keep things cool, or I can uh, use it to dry dishes or dry things or whatever, so. Okay, of course, I've got my helmet here for white water and that, uh, you know, can attach to, the, to any place here on the raft. And it also has a kind of a Go, GoPro mount on the top of it so that I can uh, film any kind of uh, whitewater action. Uh, I've got my PFD here and of course this is a rafting type PFD or kayaking type PFD. It's got the knife, safety knife, it's got my uh, whistle and survival. Uh, it's got a, a whistle that also has like a match striker and compass and that sort of thing and so uh, you know if I take a swim and I end up ashore, at least uh, I've got that and it's got a multi-tool in there as well. In the front pocket on the uh, port side is where I have my bag of uh, straps. 
and so my uh, spare cam straps. And of course, you can never have enough uh, cam straps. And, and I also have in here these uh, little uh, five volt kind of phone ch chargers. I got these as a gift. Um, they're, they're actually pretty useful as I can uh, charge a phone or charge a, uh, my uh, Yi action camera or something like that with it. And, uh, you know, I have that out in the river. And then, of course, when I get into white water, I can just stow that in that pocket. And that's not going anywhere. Going here to kind of the, the back and the cargo is that I've uh, kind of rigged a um, bin that I got from a uh, supermarket. And it, this bin is uh, just about the right size for this, this boat. And then that bin can actually, you know, come off of there and it can fold down flat or I can use, turn it over and use it kind of as a, a table. And so this trip is, I'm going to be uh, supported by a bigger raft, um, a 16 foot raft. So I'm not gonna have to carry all of my gear along on the trip. And so um, since I'm not self-supported, as uh, I can do things like I can uh, pack another five gallon water bottle here, which is really handy to the group. Um, and then also I have a, uh, a bucket with a gamma lid here that I can put various items in. Um, normally, if I'm self-supporting, uh, these gamma buckets, one, one would be my uh, kitchen and another would be my food and my stove and that sort of thing. And I can actually rig two gamma buckets um, right, right here on, on each side of the, of the boat and secure them to this, uh, this basket. And so that gives me, you know, plenty of uh, extra kind of cargo space that I can have with the boat. Some other, you know, kind of quick things to, uh, I've done to this boat is I've just actually added these uh, PVC oar rest so that uh, when I float my oars and I can just uh, stow them back there. I don't have to worry about them being in the water and dragging along. And so, and also in an emergency, these could actually, you know, I could tape, uh, tape an oar into that and actually use that as an oar lock in an emergency. One other thing that I've done to this boat is I've uh, made a little deck here. Uh, a lot of the uh, Colorado, uh, XT mods that you'll see will be having a, uh, a, a casting platform or a deck that they put on this boat. And I like having this little deck here if for nothing else is just to have a, a table that I can rest things on that I that's it's not going to fall into the water out of my lap. And then I've rigged the uh, foot pegs on this to the up position for when I'm going to be running uh, white water. Now, if I'm running flat water, normally I would actually have these in the down position and then that's a little bit more comfortable, you know, for a long day row. Whereas uh, this way, get the, getting these in the up position uh, gets my feet out of the way of any rocks or anything that I may hit on the river. So that's how I rig this uh, Colorado pontoon boat for white water. And so we'll be taking this on... Uh, some class two and class three water on the Green River in Desolation Canyon. And I hope to get that footage to you shortly. So uh, you can always uh, subscribe below uh, or like this video. And uh, this is Jay from uh, Sagebrush Journal. And we'll talk to you later.